Hi everybody. Did you know that today, April 2nd, is National Peanut Butter and Jelly Day? And according to Google, I looked it up, and the average American will have eaten over 2,000 peanut butter and jelly sandwiches by the time they graduate from high school. So, today I'm going to show you how to make the ultimate peanut butter and jelly sandwich. But first, I'm going to get rid of this mop of hair because I don't like to get hair in people's food. So we're just going to tie that back. And secondly, I've put on an apron to protect my clothes, but then I'm going to wash my hands. Even though I haven't really done anything to get my hands dirty, you always want to wash your hands before you prepare food even when we're not dealing with the coronavirus so I'm gonna do that okay next you want to get your ingredients together now you can pause this video at any time and go get ingredients or you can watch the whole thing through and then do it afterwards and what I'm going to be making is a grilled peanut butter, jelly, banana, and chocolate sandwich. So this is not health food. This is something you have once in a while as a special treat. I'm going to warm up my pan and I'm going to fix my camera so you can see everything. Now the lighting is not great down here, so I hope you can see everything. I've got my peanut butter. I like chunky peanut butter. This is Jif Chunky Peanut Butter and Raspberry Jam. I've got white bread. I know, like I said, not healthy. <laughs> this is Wonder Bread. I've got a sliced banana, some ch squares of chocolate, and some softened butter. I'm going to turn my burner on to medium and warm up my pan while we make our sandwich. Okay, I'm sure most of you know how to make a peanut butter and jelly, but for this sandwich, I'm just going to put on a nice, thick, I'm making this for my husband. He's going to eat it, and he likes lots of peanut butter, so I'm going to put on a nice, thick layer of our Jif peanut butter. Then a nice layer of our raspberry jam. And then I'm going to put on the bananas. I've already sliced the banana up here. So this is my own creation. You can do this or you could make your own sandwich. If you don't like raspberry jam, you could use strawberry. Grape jelly is good. You could use marmalade if you like that. Or you could try to make a healthier version of this and use natural peanut butter and sugar-free strawberry jam or all fruit and a healthier whole wheat or multi-grain bread. Okay, now you t you're going to take your butter that's been softened. It's just a hunk of butter I took out of the fridge a couple hours ago to get it soft. And you spread it on your bread like you would when you make a grilled cheese sandwich. Okay. All right, I'm going to put that in my pan. And while it's grilling on that side, I'll spread the butter on the other side. Now what's that this is going to do is warm everything up inside and get your bread nice and uh, toasty, crunchy, and it just makes a delicious combination of flavors. There we go. It's grilling. Okay, now that's going to take a minute or two to grill on one side, and we're going to flip it on to the other side, and it's going to be delicious. 
that. So while we're waiting for that, let's talk a little bit about what y'all have been doing during this time. I'm sure some of you have been bored, and if you haven't yet, check out the UUCB Religious Ed Facebook page for lots of crafts and stories and activities. Nicole has been busy every day posting things for you to uh, try to keep us all connected and make sure we're all having as much fun as we possibly can while we're dealing with all of this. Also, we've been posting some things to have like a karaoke night or a game night. And last karaoke night, we didn't even sing. We just all hung out and talked. So look for those things as well. Okay, let's check our sandwich and see if it's ready to be flipped over. Oh, perfect. You just want that nice golden brown on top. And have any of you ever made your own peanut butter or jelly? It's really not that hard to make. You just take fresh peanuts and you can grind them up in a blender or they have special beaters that you can buy. But I have made my own just in the blender. And it's actually very delicious. Also making your own jelly is not that hard. You just get some fresh berries and sugar and there are lots of recipes that you can look up on YouTube or on Google and uh, make your own. I've also seen people make peanut butter and pickle sandwiches. <laughs> um, all kinds of different things. So use your imagination and please if you make something post it and post the recipe with it so that we can all enjoy your creation. Okay, this sounds like it's cooking well on the other side. I'm going to take that out. And cut it in half. Turn my heat off on my pan. Let's see how that looks. Oh, yeah. Be careful. Look at that melty goodness. I'm going to taste it. Mmm. Delicious, but messy. So have a paper towel handy or eat it with a fork and a knife. <laughs> okay, that's our activity for today. Hope you enjoyed it. Like I said, post your own sandwiches so we can try them out. And have a great day.